using a hydraulic log splitter. It requires just a few foot pumps to split a log up to 46 centimeters long and 26 centimeters in diameter. Each step on the foot lever exerts a force of up to 1.2 tons of pressure without any upper body strength required. It really is so easy to use. Supplied ready assembled, the log splitter needs no fuel or power and creates no noise or fumes. So it's environmentally friendly. That looks dangerous. Gee. You pretty much have to do the low speed handle, and then once you hear a crack, you can uh, do both handles again. And you can tell it goes pretty quickly. One thing that you uh, figure out pretty quick, though, is uh, you don't. There's a knob on here that releases the pressure to retract the piston. Don't let it go all the way back. Um, you just want it to go back far enough for your lock to fit in there, because the pain in the ass to pump that up. I cut this log about a week ago, so it's still pretty wet, but it's not very big either. But you can see it splits super easy. Um, I don't know if you can see it in here, but this little arm right here that holds the log steady so it doesn't roll off, they catch uh, logs pretty easy. And it's hard to tell at first, but if you uh, if it seems like it's really hard and you're really grunting to pump that piston forward, you've probably hooked this with a log. And as you can see, I've bent it forward, so now I'm a little more careful about how the logs sit on it. If I start to feel it rest or catch, I, I take it off right away. But I've I split rounds up. Let me see if I can find one. As you can see it does take a few impacts to go through but it's quite easy to aim it and to do that action of, of raising it and driving it down. 